Hey everyone, Peter Smith from Nutshot, and I hope this video finds you doing super, super well. Just wanted to do a very quick intro to this video. It's a sponsored video by Intel covering the Ultimate Coder Challenge. And in this video, we'll be talking to a couple of the contestants, seeing uh, where they are on their journey, what they're building, um, and how they're going about it, which should be super, super awesome. And without further ado, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Who I have on with me right now is Nathan from the Crop Dusters, Team 4 of the Intel Ultimate Coder Challenge. And thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, who you are, your team, and what you're working on? Yeah, I'm uh, the team lead on uh, the Crop Dusters. And <laughs> we all work at a company, uh, it's DMI, mm -hmm. and uh, we build a lot of uh, interactive software. Gotcha. And ER is one of our huge uh, growth areas, but uh, more specifically, we started building VR. Uh, we put in our first VR cave in 2004. That's awesome. So uh, let's talk a little bit about what you guys are building for the contest and why you're excited about it and what you hope to change. You know, based on our name, right? We're, uh, <laughs> we're centered in uh, Dubuque, Iowa. So uh, we're we started talking with. Uh, National Edu uh, Education Center for Agricultural mm -hmm. um, Safety. And so what these guys do is go out and they, they build training programs that allow you to, uh, like certain things happen, egg, you know, accidents. Mm -hmm. uh, and so one of the first things they did was this grain bin. I don't know if you know what a, it's a big grain bin. So they go, they take okay. the corn, they put it in. And what happens is um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, younger folks that do that mm -hmm. and and we lose a lot of people because they weren't trained appropriately and they don't understand the risk so um we started talking to them about what's really impactful and they said well sprayer training is uh something and so these booms are like 120 mm -hmm. foot wide so if you can imagine you know going <laughs> down a field and the fields are not flat right there uh, and there's um i did have my um uh it's one of my uh my cousin's husband actually mm -hmm. was in a rollover accident oh, in one of these, sorry. Um, uh, you know, sprayers. So you're, and he's, he doesn't work anymore. And, and so you're, you understand that it is a big deal because it'll change somebody's life. So yeah. we're really excited to build something that, you know, if could prevent one accident, right. That's, mm -hmm. that's a huge deal. So we get excited about that because it's, um, you know, we're, we're here, in the heartland and uh, -huh. uh we see these things happening so we said well what can we build and uh this is really um you know building a a, a simulator that all of these uh guys that go out mm -hmm. and do and the thing is they don't do it all year it's like it's only in the spring and and kind of into mm -hmm. the summer a little bit and then they put that stuff on the the shelf for like you know eight months and so now mm -hmm. it's like and they're also, uh, there's a lot of younger kids who are, you know, they're more city kids that sure. didn't grow up on the farm. So all these kids are going off to the colleges and things. So they have to take someone who has never driven a track to go out and spray these thousand acres. And so last thing I want to do to quickly wrap this up is, uh, how can people follow up with, uh, what you guys are building, um, inside the contest, outside the contest, where, where they can find you. Our website is, uh, designmillinc.com. And, uh, that really, sh it's, can, you can see what we're working on there. Um, so those are really the two, uh, main areas, um, or spots so you can go check us out. I, I was like quickly looking through the blog post before this and yeah, the, I mean, everything from like the videos, gifts, the, the information there is, is really well put together. So, uh, that's just a super awesome resource as well. And, uh, good luck on the contest, Nathan. Like, uh, I'm, I'm rooting for, for all of you. Cause I mean, <laughs> you guys are each pushing, pushing each other in such awesome ways to, to build the future of, of outside of gaming VR. So that's really yeah. cool. All right. Yeah, well, thanks. I appreciate the time. Yeah, no, thank so you. I'm here today with the VR monkeys and here talking to us today is Pedro representing those guys. Thanks for that, Pedro. You're welcome, man. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to uh, everyone watching? Talk a little bit about yourself, your team, what you guys are building. Yeah, perfect. Uh, well, my name is Pedro Kaya. I'm a computer engineer by, like, say, 
my master was in computer <laughs> engineering. Now I do all sorts of different stuff from commercial to uh, managing the company. Startup life. I'm one of the founders of VR Monkey. Uh, <laughs> so we, in 2015, we got an angel investment. So we packed awesome. our company only to work with virtual reality. And our team has grown like a lot. We were in three people. Now we are in 15. That's uh, really awesome. I have been a, an Intel innovator. I started with the Intel RealSense. Man, it, 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 it is amazing. You, you can do so much great things. And we started working with Intel Real Sense in the augmented reality stuff. And But then virtual reality came and changed everything. <laughs> we have uh, one amazing project that Intel from Brazil got to sponsor that was the Dinos do Brazil. Okay. It's uh, probably the biggest permanent exhibition in a museum. That's awesome. Only about virtual reality. It's like 25 seats of Oculus Rift. That's where so it's, cool. it's, it's like a king, it's like a kind of a, a theater that people enters. Uh, just a brief explanation: past half an hour in the prehistory of Brazil. Oh, wow! And I, I gotta gotta go check that out when I go when I go to Brazil. Whenever I go, I'll check it out. Hundred percent. Just just let me know so I can point you out. I can go to the studio. I, I can aid you. Just come yeah. to Brazil, man. <laughs> have a great time. That sounds awesome. It was our inspiration to, to create this project that's part of the Intel Ultimate Code Challenger. We, we are creating a virtual reality laboratory. So the idea is that how much cost to have uh, like a chemical, uh, a mathematics <laughs> laboratory in a school? A lot. <laughs> that's an understatement. Right. Yeah. What if we could just make then ship Mm -hmm. secure yep and also funny <laughs> that's important as well and part of this we we took the idea to create a forensic lab so why a forensic lab you can put so many different subjects inside just a, a real application of science mm -hmm. it's nice because people always get curious okay who who did this who do the was, blame to uh, yeah who's yeah. the culprit Exactly. Let's find this guy. 100%. And, and then you have like all these kind of machines, like, okay, <laughs> how you process DNA? Like I was totally clueless about how I make a DNA analysis. Mm -hmm. What's the, the, the I, I knew how to read if the DNA sure. was from one person or for another, but how I extract the blood from a crime scene. It's not something that's, Easy. It's not our no. daily life. I want to bring this back a little bit to the uh, the code, ultimate coder challenge. How, how like where are you guys at in like what you've built so far? Um, and like what are what are the things that you need to pr improve in like the it's like two or three weeks, right? Before the the, <laughs> the final thing do is done. We 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 have we have done a lot. At the, at the beginning of the project, we had like uh, some random models of some equipment, like floating ideas in the air. Yeah. So in fact, it was great to be part of the program because it put us to focus. Okay, we're gonna deliver it this every week. We're gonna make the difference. We're gonna really put a fort to make to move forward. Like, sure. yeah. and it was really, really good for us because we needed to put some more, like a real planning behind it. Mm -hmm. Not not that we don't have it, but you know, like there's a deadline. Yeah, you, you have to meet yes. it. <laughs> Time deadlines are really great things to uh, to inspire you, right? <laughs> exactly, you gotta get it. <laughs> and uh, now we are just finishing with the narrative. Okay. So what we do have is uh, basically most of the technology behind the laboratory. We have most of the tools working yep. for the 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 history that we are telling. Yep. So we have, for instance, the DNA test is got ready. Awesome. We we got the the a way to take out uh, fingerprints. We got a, a way to like uh, isolate the premises of the okay. crime scene. Man, we we got so much. <laughs> tech behind it that I, I, if I start to list here, it's gonna be it's too like, much. Boom. We have all the models, all the the environment. We have uh, yeah. the animations. We have basically everything set. Now we are just make the final adjustments to put it out in the move. Yep. Because everything is just working separately. So we need not just to, you know, mix yeah. everything up, put yep. it in the oven and yep. wait for the cake to be ready. <laughs> just to wrap this up really quick, because we've been going for like, I don't know, 25 minutes or so. So it's been a while. Shh, no one has to know that. 
uh, where, where can people find you to, to follow along with what you guys are doing? I, I would say the easiest way to really keep in touch with us would be like Facebook, the questions. But if you want to be updated with the work that we are doing, we are releasing a dev blog awesome. on the Intel Ultimate Code Challenger. Yep. Every week we have a new post about the things that we are doing. Awesome. So it's a, it's a kind of mix because we have like a, a video diary uh -huh. that says our improvement in this last week from what we have been doing. Got it. But at the same time, uh, I don't write to just I don't write I don't want to just write about what we are doing, but I I like to write about tips for people who is developing. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thanks so much for your time and. Uh, this was awesome. This was really awesome. We, we we went all over the place, but I think all of it was super helpful for a lot of people. People know where to find you guys. Check out their blog because there's a ton of stuff there, and it's worth checking out. And yeah, I mean, uh, Facebook is there also. Like that's that's always having a place to connect there is always super awesome. Thank you. It was really a pleasure. Awesome. I like I said at the beginning. I hope you guys enjoyed tons of learnings about what they're doing. I'm really, really glad that they're documenting that all. And uh, like I showed on the video, you can definitely go ahead and click on uh, any of the links. They'll be in the description below if you wanna check out their blog posts and, and whatnot. So uh, with all of that said, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. This has been Fuse Man, and I'm signing out.